In spring 2021, partners on the Aberdeenshire Learning Communities Partnership were shaping the 2021-24 CLD plan. They were also looking at how they could best work together to support communities through the COVID-19 pandemic and into recovery. Two of the strategic partners, Aberdeenshire Council and Leeds Scotland, designed and delivered a short programme to strengthen leadership, confidence and capacity around CLD planning in the partnership. In this video Sue Briggs, Aberdeenshire Council and Sarah Burton, Leeds Scotland talk about the process they went through, how they used the HGIO CLD4 framework and the impact of the sessions. So we considered that we could use um, at what at that time was the soon to be revised How Good Is Our Community Learning and Development 4th Edition framework to assess our partnership um, and, and really the live strategic plan development process we were in. Um, and, and we were the key thing I, I suppose that we were wanting to look at was, was how we might um, help us identify some questions that partners and our local learning community partnership colleagues could use with learners and communities throughout the delivery um, of our plan. We also wanted to identify questions that would inform the development of the plan itself. And of course, we wanted to invest protected time and effort in strengthening our partnership and strengthening our leadership in the workforce, not just in that strategic partnership, but also within the local learning partnership uh, and the constituent organisations. And so this was an essential part of ensuring ultimately consistent engagement and support of our CLD plan across the next three years. So, so this approach to using the framework was, was well centred in what we needed to do as a partnership over the, the three years from, from 2021 to, to 24. We considered that perhaps the two most useful quality indicators we could use would be um, 3.2, partnership working, and 6.1, uh, raising standards. Um, having uh, identified the quality indicators that we wanted to use, we then had to look at which particular questions out of those quality indicators would make sense. So each of the indicators, um, if I remember correctly, had, it has 10 or more um, challenge questions that we can ask. Now, we were looking at setting fairly um, tight boundaries on, on the time we would spend in each session to, to develop these. So we focused on um, short focused pieces of work, two one hour sessions, and uh, as such we picked out four questions uh, for each quality indicator that we felt we could use. And we were looking to have uh, an opening question that eased uh, attendees into the into the framework and into the process of, of challenging ourselves using these questions. And then we had core questions um, that we'd be looking at in detail and hoping to develop some real discussion out of. And then um, a final question to pull the thinking together uh, to set the framework for the next session. But also, um, also I suppose, is a, a cheeky wee bit of homework for for partners to take away and use within their own organisations as a way to hopefully extend the framework out as far as possible and embed it with 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 our partnership work. So for me, there was two things about the use of the How Good Is Our. It was about our the efficiencies of using the quality indicators in the new framework, but also the building of confidence for ourselves and partners um, in in use in using using quality frameworks because the experiences of partners were varied in terms of their engagement with the framework. Two sessions, both quite focused, both well structured, both designed to allow people full participation. And as you said, you know, to leave people a little bit of homework as well. I think from the feedback we got, certainly there was um, an, a good engagement and um, healthy participation and good learning that took place. But for, for, for people um, watching this, you know, the materials are there also for sharing and to be to be looked at. From our point of view, I think we should really celebrate the fact that something worked. It was short, succinct, but well thought out, uh, worked well. The rigour that the use of the quality indicators brought was a huge backbone for us, I think. Um, 
there was a security in using a framework that exists, a style of framework that's well tested. The challenge questions, which we know are activate people's thinking well, the adoption of the challenge questions, the selection of the challenge questions. So the mechanics behind it, I think, were really helpful and successful from my point of view. From my point of view also, the feedback we got from partners was hugely positive, which is great. So we've clearly got something right. And, and I think that since we've completed that exercise and moved on, completed the plan, there's a, a, a change in the engagement of partners. And I think that initial thought and thought around an investment in our own leadership capacities around CLD planning was um, a right call. I think for me, thinking back to the sessions themselves, it was the vibrancy of the discussion um, that that interested me. So clearly we'd met many times as a partnership and we had very business focused meetings, very partnership focused meetings. But this was the first time for me that that the the folk around the table um, really got into a vibrant discussion about the partnership itself and about how we had value as 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 leaders in, in CLD since that time. Uh, the conversations I feel are are more open. Um, more focused on what we can do as a partnership rather than what we can do as individual organisations within that partnership.